Go ahead and try this question. This question doesn't come from an SAT subject test in chemistry. It comes from a different test. Uh, as you can see, it only has one, uh, four choices instead of five. But you will see a question like this on the test, so it is appropriate. And what we need to do is find out which reaction represents a redox reaction. So how do we do this? What you need to determine is if there's a change in the oxidation states of these elements as you go from reactants to products. So what we need to do is look at each of the elements of each of these reactions, find their oxidation numbers, and see if they change as you move from left to right. So for example, over here, well, we know that Ag is almost always plus one, and oxygen's almost always minus two. So because this has got to be neutral, this is plus one, this is a total of minus six. So plus one and minus six leaves us with minus five, which means the nitrogen is going to have to be plus five to cancel all that out. Here, Na is plus one, Cl is minus one. Now how about on the, on the product side? Ag is plus one, Cl is minus one, Na is plus one, minus two, and plus five. So notice these oxidation numbers are the same. The Ag is still plus one, the Cl is still minus one, the Na is still plus one, and the components of nitrate are still the same. So that's not our answer. How about two? Well, in two, we know that Cl is minus one each. So that's gonna make Ba plus two. Each of these potassiums is plus one. This is minus two. Carbon will be plus four. You can check all these if you're curious uh, on your own. Barium is gonna be plus two again. Again, oxygen minus two. Carbon is plus four. Potassium plus one. Chlorine minus one. Again, these aren't changing. The oxidation numbers on the left and the right are the same. How about three? Here, oxygen is pretty much always minus two, as it is here. So copper is plus two. Here, oxygen is minus two. Copper is plus two. So what's going on on the right side? Well, notice copper is by itself. And when you have a lone element, the oxidation number is zero. Over here, the oxygen is still minus two, but the carbon is plus four. So notice not all of the elements change. The oxygen is still minus two on the left and the right. But you have a change. Copper is going from plus two to zero, and the carbon in carbon monoxide is going from plus two to plus four. So what you have here, this is decreasing its oxidation number, it's gaining electrons, so this is our reduction. This one is increasing its oxidation number, it's losing electrons, so this is our oxidation. So because this equation has a change in the oxidation numbers, three is gonna look like it's gonna be our answer. And if you'd like, you can check four on your own and you'll see that the oxidation numbers do not change in four. So for that reason, the answer would be three. So to determine if a question's a redox reaction or an equation is a redox reaction, look at those oxidation numbers and they will usually tell you the tale. They will always tell you the tale uh, as long as you can fill them in on both sides. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll and you can find the link in the description below the video.